Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel, this time with a new helicopter for GDA5 and well you can't really see it right now because I'm standing inside of it but uh, you've probably read the title so you know what's uh, this about. This is the NH90 uh, German, well not only German but let's say European transport helicopter which is uh, currently in service with many different countries and also has several different problems but well at least in GTA 5 it's flying fine so far so um yeah let's just start um i'm here in the interior as you can see you can freely walk around and um yeah check out the uh, interior then you can go out of it as well And uh, yeah, this is the outside here, you can see right there. Let's just hop inside to get a better view. Alright, so this is the exterior in German colors. Uh, German camo and markings. Let's just uh, close the doors real quick. Um, yeah, not like yeah. You know what? We're gonna do it like this. It's quicker. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just take off. Don't want to hit the wires right there. Put the gear in. And off we go. Let's fly through Ratten Canyon. Some low level flying. And let's actually add some clouds. Or perhaps not. I don't like this clear sky. It's too clear. It looks so clean. I don't like that. I mean it might be California but still. Look at the cockpit right here. You can see we've got some uh, working gauges and those fake radar screens and uh, engine. I don't know what they're actually good for. It's engine temperature or. Yeah, it might be. But they don't really indicate something uh, realistically. They just go up and down. So, uh, yeah. But we've got some working uh, airspeed indicator altitude indicator, uh, artificial horizon right there, and a compass. So yeah, this helicopter is uh, its actually unarmed. There are no weapons on this one. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, in real life it does have some uh, optional weaponry but mostly only uh, door mounted like an MG3 I believe or um, well I don't know well uh, perhaps the M2 Browning as well just like uh, there's a version of the Blackhawk which can mount the M2 perhaps Gatling gun I don't know what weapons the different countries use so didn't even do anything. Now oh, I wish I had some rocket pots to uh, level the field here, but sadly that's not the case. And sometimes the wheels get buggy, I don't really know why, but I don't know if this happens when I fix the vehicle. Yeah, it does. So uh, in that case, you have to just, you know, drop the gear, put it back in. This is... Oh, well. Why does this happen now? It always happens two times, so... Wait a second. 
I, I really can't figure out what program in the background is causing it. There we go. Like I said, always have it two times. And it's pretty fucking annoying. Sorry for the language, especially in multiplayer. Just like, you know, when you're about to hit someone and then the game's like, <laughs> Nice try, but nope. Overtake the Hornet right there. Do a flyby. Alright, yeah, but that's basically it, so I guess I should land it because, well, this is a simple transport helicopter, and um, yeah, there's actually no need to show much more, I believe. Because everything that can be shown has been... Well, I can quickly change to nighttime right here. So we can take a quick look. You've got uh, the working position lights. You've got um, right here landing lights. Let's take a quick look in the interior. The gauges are uh, working. Oh yeah, when you put the gear in you also have these green buttons which uh, go out, but that's nothing special really. So let's put it down and get out. And there we go. Let's switch to uh, daytime for the final sentences. So um, yeah, this is basically it. This is the NH90 without any additional extra name, which is kind of boring. I mean, you know, you say the name NH-90 and nothing. You know, for these American helicopters, you always have, like, UH-60 Blackhawk, AH-64 Apache, stuff like that, and here you have just NH-90. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so, um... Thanks for watching, guys. This helicopter is basically finished. It just needs some very, very small tweaks, but... I actually think this could be already out when the video is finished uploading and processing, so um, either there'll be a link in the description or I will be updating the description later on. And um, apart from that, yeah, just keep checking gda5mods.com. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and then see you in the next video.